Hello, welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, I welcome you. I am Virginie, an interior designer, and I deal with houses that represent 100% who has to leave them from consulting to the entire renovation process. I also help foreigners who want to buy and renovate in Italy to support them all the process long. Difficult otherwise to follow from a distance. In this channel, I will talk about home and renovation, trying to give you helpful tips so that you can have your dream house, a house that represents you in depth and where you will always feel at your ease. Is it that easy to furnish a home? Let's see it in today's video. But before we get started, if you love everything related to the home and renovation topic, remember to subscribe to my channel for more information on this subject. And don't forget to click the like button because it's the best way to support this channel and my content. I'll truly appreciate it. Many people are convinced that all you need to do to furnish your home is to insert a few aesthetically pleasing pieces of furniture here and there. I take a charming bouquet, a colorful couch, place them in some strategic spot and that's it. Actually, it's not quite as simple as it sounds. In fact, furnishing does not only mean providing your home with some furniture or furnishings according to your taste. Rather, it means building an environment that represents and reflects you in every detail. The house must be built and furnished around you because you will be its beating heart. Only then can you finally say that you truly feel at home. But is it that easy to do? Let's see it together. Imagine how nice it would be to go home and feel part of an environment that best represents your personality and tastes. A dream, don't you think? However, achieving this result, as I said at the beginning, is not as easy as it seems. Probably you are convinced that you are clear in your head what your tastes are, and maybe you already have an idea of what the result you would like to have will look like. But are you really sure you have clear ideas? I often enjoy playing a game with my clients, which is to have them go online and type in these two words, color palette. The result is an infinite variety of color palettes with the most varied combinations. So I always ask them to pick the at least three and describe how they feel about each color combination. You have no idea of the number of customers who found themselves appreciating styles and colors completely different from those present in their initial beliefs. Almost nobody always chooses the same color combinations. And when the colors are different, it is not easy to create the correct harmony between them. We must be able to find the right balance between the various environments so that each color can generate different sensations without overpowering the others. Probably you too can find yourself in the situation of having varied preferences, both in terms of color or other things. After all, it's truly tough to like just one shade, a bit as I told you in another video about styles. It is in fact unlikely that a unique style can best represent yourself and fit perfectly in any room of your home. For this, you may face the problem of being attracted of a large number of different styles or color combinations and not being able to choose the one that truly reflects yourself. You could choose the combination that right off the bat seems the best for you or opt for a mix of the things you like more. But in doing so, would you really be sure that the results truly represent you? Furnishing your home is a delicate operation. We are talking about the environment in which you will live. Furnishing it by following your instincts or trying to average out the things you like is not the best choice, believe me. 
The risk is to live in an environment that may represent a phase of your life but is not the true reflection of who you effectively are. I'm often told that I'm a very empathetic person. I confess you I had considered studying psychology. Now, my job is not to psychoanalyze you, not at all. <laughs> However, the psychological component when it comes to furnishing the home is of a paramount importance. That's why I always spend a lot of time getting to know the customer, not just their taste in furniture. In fact, those always come in a later stage and will be the natural consequence of their personality. And that's why I'm first interested in understanding who you are so I can help you realize your dream home. Because furnishing your home is not so difficult, but furnishing it according to your personality is not easy at all. If you would like me to help you figure out what the right solutions might be for you and for your home, just send me a message. You'll find my contacts in the description box below. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, let me know in the comments. Your opinion is significant for me. If you would like to share this video with someone you think could be interested, I would be honored and it will help me to grow my channel. And if you love the video, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you uh, already haven't done it yet, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss the upcoming video. See you soon. Bye bye.